Hey everyone, coming to you today talking about how can we actually get data from a lookup field in Zoho into my current account automatically, right? It seems pretty straightforward. I just have, it's linked by the lookup. I just wanna take that information that's sitting in the lookup and bring it into my current record. It seems simple, sometimes a bit harder than it seems in Zoho, but here to show you a really simple way to do it. So let's open up the uh, Zoho CRM that I have in front of me. And so the situation that I'm gonna show you is when I have uh, basically new deals. So what that looks like is it's going to be, let me just, oh, there we go. So what that looks like, so I have a bunch of testy Deals here. And so when I have a new deal, I want to do two things. I want to take the information that's in the contact, right? That's a lookup. And specifically the lead source, copy and paste the lead source into the deal. And the other thing I want to do is I want to name the deal smart. I don't want to just be like something, you know, new deal. I want to add some standardization around it. So I want it to always say first name, last name's deal or something like that. So, you know, if I create a brand new deal, I come into here and I put, you know, we have some things in here that I have to put in. Deal name, I'm not sure, unsure, right? I don't know exactly how to do that. And then the client name, I could put one in, test. So let's call it Harry test, whatever. But you know, when I put these things in, it's like, I wanna make sure that this is constant. I wanna make sure that the lead source here matches Harry's lead source. And so it's not going to be a very efficient way of doing it. So that is until we put in this workflow. So let's get into it here. Let's, so let's go to the workflow and then like, let's make a brand new workflow flow here and I'm going to call it on the deals module specifically. So when I create a new deal, let's just say client details to the deal on create. That probably seems right. And so I come in here and first of all, let's do the trigger when I create a deal. So just what I'm doing and sure, why not? Let's just do all deals for now. And so the trick here again is going to be using in my custom actions, the advanced field update. I'm gonna click that. And then it gives me a bunch of options here. So the one that I'm going to do, the one I'm worried about is actually going to be the advanced field update. So I wanna update the field on the deal based on something advanced. So I click that and I get to decide what field. So let's start with the lead source. That might be the easiest one. So I'm gonna do lead source. And then it says, what do I wanna to update to? And right now it seems like I just do a free text box. That's not totally useful. But the trick is if I type in the number sign, I get to use merge fields. So I can come in here, select the client name and say specifically the lead source. So now the lead source in the deal is going to be updated to the contacts lead source. Pretty cool. And then let's just for good measure, do another example. So let's say the deal name, what I wanted to do, I do that number sign again, I click client and then I say first names deal right? Tom's deal, something like that. We'll hit save, call this update deal with client. Sure. And then I'm going to hit save. So now it's in the, now it's a functioning workflow. And so if I go back to this, when I hit save, that should create the deal and that should trigger it. So, you know, unsure the deal name, don't know the lead source. I have to put this in. So I'll just call this test, whatever. Everything else, I just kind of know it's Harry's deal, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to hit save. And now that save, what it's done is it's triggered that workflow. So right now it's still showing unsure because we'll actually have to refresh it to see the results of that workflow running. So let's do that. So I'm just going to quickly refresh it. <clears throat> and there you go, right? So the unsure has been updated to Harry's deal. So now I've added standardization on my deal. And if I scroll down the lead source, well, this might be a bad example because I don't know if Harry has an actual lead source, but it's gonna work the exact same way. Let's just do, I'm gonna do actually one thing just to show you how the lead source can work. So I did two things here. Basically, I changed the trigger of my workflow to say, this is just a random checkbox we have that's gonna be repeated each time. And my field update here, the advanced field update, it stays unchanged, right? I still wanna do the exact same thing. If I ever wanted to check what it is, I can always come in. It's going to do a quick check for me and then make sure, okay, yeah, that still looks good. Maybe let's change it, right? Let's just for fun, let's just put in last name, right? So now I want the full name in, in the deal. So this is gonna be first name, last names deal. Okay, that looks better. Save, we're gonna hit save. And then if you remember, it's just this checkbox here, the stop automation. So I'm gonna check that in a second, but I wanna just kind of show you, okay, lead source. Now Harry has a lead source. I actually just put that in. So now let's see the magic. Let's check that box. Let's refresh the page and let's see what happens. So give me one sec. And so sure enough, Harry's test deal is been updated, right? So we can see that there, Harry's test deal, great. And if I scroll down, yep, sure enough, the lead source has been filled in. So I wanna make sure you guys saw that. So yeah, no matter what it is, if you wanna kind of connect, concatenate things, make a nice fancy name, or if you want to just copy one field from 
the look up to the current record, it's all very doable. So let me know if you have any questions. If you do want to try this for yourself, where I recommend you guys starting blueroot.ca slash Wes, this is where you can get started. It kind of goes through all the features, everything that's involved in Wes, all the things that you can do and how to get started. So blueroot.ca slash Wes, try it out. Thanks for watching.